all over of 19 Mayıs University. We have a special guest today, uh, Professor Dr. Iman from Jordan, Jordan Applied Sciences University. Uh, we will ask a few questions and uh, we will listen to her university in the end of our small interview. Professor Iman, uh, this is your first time in Samsung, as I'm told. Mm -hmm. How did you find it so far? It's not my first time to Turkey, but it's my first time to Samsung. So comparatively, Samsung is a quiet, beautiful place. It has a lot of greenery and uh, it's surrounded by sea everywhere. A quiet, beautiful, blue sea. And the people here are extremely friendly and the food is delicious. <laughs> so I advise anyone to come and visit Samsung. Oh, thank you very much. And I think the food is similar to Jordan or not? Well, it has its own taste. Mm -hmm. um, in Turkey in general, the food here has its own taste. Um, it's uh, delicious, uh, probably a bit heavier. Um, but I tried the specific meals yesterday mm -hmm. that are tradition <laughs> to Turkey and I found it extremely tasty. No, it's different to what, how we eat it in, back in Jordan. And any favorites do you have? I love the meat here. Okay. The meat is very nice and the rice. Okay, that's very good. And you had a chance to see the campus, I believe. Uh, yes. It's a huge campus. I never imagined that I would see a campus embedded in a mountain. Um, the campus is spread over a huge mountain, many, many numerous buildings. Each building is nicer looking than the other. That's what I saw yesterday anyway, going through the mountain and having a look at each building and uh, the, how it's titled, because the titles in Turkish is extremely uh, interesting. Today, I had the chance to enter these buildings. So I had the chance to see the faculties from inside. And I have to say that I was more impressed. Uh, the University 19 Mayos is a state of the art when it comes to the classes, the um, laboratories, the, um, the, the infrastructure, um, the library is beautiful. The uh, area where the students spend most of their recreational time playing and eating um, is absolutely beautiful and it's got everything that they need, even a cinema. So uh, I have to say that I was astonished. I never imagined that uh, a 16 faculties university would be this huge. But I guess it does have 50,000 students, so uh, it makes sense at the end. Yes, thank you very much. And you have signed an MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, while you are here between our institutions. Uh, what do you think the implications of this MOU will be for the future? Huge implications. Because both universities, Applied Science Private University, 19 Myers University, each have a lot of advantages that can transfer to the other. Um, for example, 19 Myers have a state-of-the-art faculty of dentistry. Uh, University of Applied Sciences are establishing a faculty of dentistry right now. So we're going to collaborate on, develop, on the development of the buildings, the curriculum, educational uh, methodologies. For example, for the very first time, I see in the uh, faculty of dentistry today that they use clinical OSCE examinations. So they actually examine their dentistry students as if they are in a life situation and they get assessed by their professors behind the window so the professor can see the student and they don't know when and how they are being watched. And uh, now that's extremely beautiful and the laboratories are beautiful. So we're gonna collaborate on that. In addition, um, applied science is very advanced uh, when it comes to the other faculties from pharmacy to nursing to engineering. Uh, because we have international accreditations and we can pass that experience onto the University of 19 Mayos. We are also very well into uh, QS ranking and rating. We were able to obtain five stars in the QS rating this year, five stars in online uh, QS rating. Uh, we have entered the Times Impact, Times Ranking. We are the first when it comes to Times 
ranking on the Arabic um, uh, ranking system. And so all of that experience will be passed on to 19 miles. Um, in addition to the Arabic speaking for non-Arabic speaking um, students who will be visiting applied science and learning Arabic over there. And yes, yeah, so there are huge areas of collaboration, not to mention research, of course. Um, we have very nice animal laboratories here and back at applied science. So I guess both parties can collaborate nicely there. That's very good to hear. And from what I hear, our universities are quite similar because Onda Kuzumais University is also ranked in Times Higher Education, both True. in impact rankings and also World University rankings. True. And it appears that we have a lot to give to each other and share with each other. And as the president of your university, can you just share us uh, some more information uh, that our Turkish viewers can get from you about your university. Applied Science University um, have gone through a lot of achievements, specifically in the past five years. Um, international accreditations nearly for all of the faculties and for the longest time possible. And uh, in addition to the national accreditation as well for all of the faculties, on the level of the university, we just obtained uh, lately the ASIC international uh, accreditation, it's a British, British accreditation, and we were able to obtain the premier institution accreditation. So that's the top level of accreditation. Uh, so although we are a smaller university, of course, when compared to 90 miles, but we are extensively working hard when it gets to, uh, when we talk about internationalization and strategically working towards internationalization and that's another reason as to why we are signing uh, with 19 miles university and uh, our work with them would hopefully increase our rank and their rank as well uh, international collaboration helps both parties to go up in their rankings whether we are talking us ranking or times ranking as well. Uh, so that exchange of students, exchange of academics, regardless of the area of education or research, um, will benefit a lot. Uh, in addition to, we talked about something very new today, uh, societal impact of both universities. So we will help each other to increase the impact of our work on our societies uh, and on our countries as well. We are thinking of uh, ways to do that. So I guess that was something new um, added to the MOU. Usually we talk teaching and the research. Today we also talk societal impact. So I'm looking forward to a fruitful collaboration between both parties and I'm very confident that we're going to do a lot of good things together. Thank you very much. I'm especially happy to hear this secondary part, the societal impact, mm -hmm. because just like you explained, these MOUs generally focus on education uh, or research, Jesus, yes. but apparently you did something special here True. and we are very, uh, looking forward to see the uh, results as soon as possible. I thank you very much for uh, sharing your time with us. Uh, dear viewers and followers, we had Professor Dr. Iman, the president of uh, Applied Sciences University from Jordan. I think it's one of the best private universities in Jordan, if okay. not the best. Sure. Uh, and we were very happy to host you and we hope to see you at our university again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.